Hey everyone, Empty here. Does Slime Climb have you down in the dumps because you keep eating that pink slime? Or perhaps you do got it down, but now you're just looking for some better strats to tackle it quicker. Well, here you go. This is definitely going to be some of the best strats you can take with you next time you run into that monster of a level Slime Climb. But first, a big thank you to Valhart because these in-game clips are from his Twitch streams. So this wouldn't be possible without him. So be sure to head on over to his channel and give him a follow. Again, thank you to him for talking to me for a bit to make sure I had everything I needed for the video. I really do appreciate it. Okay, to start, I'll go ahead and take a look at the run while pausing it at key parts. And then after that, I'll go ahead and let it run through one more time just by itself without stopping. Sound good? Okay, here we go. So you'll see he'll actually start front mid, which is kind of the best position you can be in. So he'll go ahead and we'll take the Doritos chip bounce off of here, which a lot of you guys know about. But I do want to mention this is part of the safer route here, which you go between the two Doritos chips. Uh, just with a simple jump, you jump right over it and you're good to go. Uh, so that pie works out a lot better when you're in the middle of the crowd and don't have that great positioning. Okay, but let's go ahead and come back over here and you'll see the first cut corner here where he actually jumps over this pillar. From here you pass the balls and you're going to take his jump section here. You can just jump right up there. No diving needed. You go ahead and just do a regular, regular jump. Right up there. And then he's going to cut this corner here. Again with just a regular jump which is pretty sweet. And you see here, he's gonna use this pillar uh, for a little bit extra momentum to get where he needs to go. And you can make this jump right up there. And then against the yellow balance beams, um, if you're a newer player, just go ahead and take your time. You just gotta really try and line your sex yourself up in the middle. Uh, but once you do it a few times, you get a lot better at it. You see here, he just kind of goes for it. Okay, so then we have another nice corner cut here. You can actually just do a regular jump up this way. Then you notice he jumps over the hammers. Heading right towards this area here, we jump up there. Quickly cut across. It's pretty close there. And then this one, you actually do have to dive. So that corner cut, you do have to uh, make a dive for it. And you get across this way. Okay, this next thing is probably my biggest takeaway from talking with Valhart, which I thought was pretty awesome, is when you're crossing the ball section, if you walk along the outside edge of the green part, if your foot is touching along the green part, the balls will never actually touch you which is pretty awesome. So that's a great tip for for bad players, good players, all players alike, just to quickly get past there without any real worries. Just keep a foot alongside the green. And just like that, you finish Slime Climb. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and let the video play through once without stopping it. It seemed to be more, more in full force today. Okay, that might be my cleanest slime climb ever. And there you have it. That's a pretty crazy slime climb run from Valhart. I believe that's about 47 seconds. So a big thank you again to him. A link to his channel will be down below in the description. Uh, be feel free to check me out on Twitch as well. I stream three nights a week. Join our Discord. Links for all that stuff will be down below. It's always a pleasure. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll have more stuff coming. So feel free to let me know what else you would like to see down below. Thanks a lot, everybody. I love you all.